What's up, family? Okay, here's an update on Aaron Hernandez, the former football star who was serving time for three bodies. He was found dead in his jail cell hanging on Wednesday, and his death was immediately ruled a suicide. But the family, friends, and people close to him, even myself included, does not believe that he hung himself. Well, today, officials confirmed that, yes, indeed, he did hang himself. It goes like this, y'all. The death of former NFL star Aaron Hernandez has been ruled a suicide, the Worcester County District Attorney's Office said in a statement Thursday. Chief Medical Examiner Dr. Henry Mills concluded that the cause of death was asphyxia by hanging. An investigation into Hernandez's death by the Massachusetts State Police found cardboard jammed into the door tracks of Hernandez's cell to impede entry, officials said. Investigators determined that Hernandez was alone at the time of his death and said there were no signs that anyone had struggled to enter his single inmate cell. The first person to enter was a correction officer at 3.03 a.m., according to officials. Investigators found three handwritten notes next to a Bible in his cell, officials said. Hernandez's body has been released to his family for burial, but the medical examiner has retained custody of his brain despite the family's wish to donate it to Boston University CTE Center. Hernandez's defense attorney, Jose B, says, CTE stands for chronic traumatic encephalopathy, a type of brain injury found in athletes and others who have experienced repetitive brain trauma. Dan Bennett, Massachusetts's Secretary for Public Safety and Security said that Hernandez's brain would be released to researchers soon. The Office of the Chief Medical Examiner is conducting an investigation into the circumstances of Aaron Hernandez's death, which may require further analysis of his body. Once that is complete, the brain will be released to Boston University. No one is going to stand in the way of the family's wishes for Boston University to have Aaron Hernandez's brain, Bennett said in a statement. Massachusetts Governor Charlie Baker said on Thursday that he is confident in the investigation being conducted by the state's Department of Correction. Hernandez was found dead in his cell on Wednesday. Look, anytime anybody kills themselves in a prison, something clearly went wrong, the governor said, adding that he supports the department's leadership. Baker said that at the time, he does not believe anyone has been disciplined in the wake of Hernandez's death. Hernandez was found hanging from a bed sheet tied to the window of his cell at the Sousa Baranowski Correctional Center in Shirley, Massachusetts. One of Hernandez's attorneys, Ronald Sullivan, told the Boston Globe that Hernandez was on the phone with his longtime fiance, Shayana Jenkins Hernandez, about seven hours before his death. Sullivan did not say what the couple discussed, but noted that they were on the phone until 8 p.m. The Massachusetts State Police and Worcester County District's Attorney Office has launched an investigation into Hernandez's death. Police and prosecutors will look into Hernandez's recent time in prison, including prior fights and any gang-related disputes that might have occurred. His legal team will also be conducting its own investigation, B said. Hernandez was dropped from the New England Patriots roster in 2013 after he was arrested for murder of his friend, Odin Lloyd. <clears throat> okay. Here's the deal, y'all. I said it all along. I'll say it again. Dude did not kill himself. I know some of y'all don't give a damn. Personally, I'm indifferent. I don't have a dog in the fight. I'm just looking at the evidence. I'm just speaking as far as, I'm not speaking as him on him as a man, as a human being. I'm speaking on these circumstances, the events surrounding his death. If y'all don't care nothing about that, you will care if you ever end up in jail or you have a loved one end up in jail for anything. And it can happen. I've seen good people in prison. I've seen people that you wouldn't imagine in prison, in jail, doing time. So it can happen to you. It can happen to you. 
And if you end up in jail for any reason, or one of your loved ones end up in jail for any reason, I think that you would want to make sure, or you would want to be confident that they're not going to be assassinated by the people who are supposed to be there to protect them. I think dude was murdered. I think he was murdered. I'm telling you. It just don't make sense. The dude had just won uh, a, his case. He had just got a case reversed. Just beat a case on a double homicide. And knowing the type of dude he was, he was egotistical. I mean, at least you got to at least give me some time to gloat that I beat this murder rap. I got to at least do some brag and let you know, man, I'm the man, man. I off them boys and still made it. Look at me. He ain't had no time to even brag on beating the case. Y'all know, man, anybody that ever been arrested, man, y'all know what I'm talking about. You got to at least flex your muscles and say, yeah, I gave them motherfucker back that time, man. I gave that case back, man. You know, he ain't did none of that. Then he was on his way to possibly beating the other murder rap. I mean, it's possible that he could have beat that murder rap because the first charge on the double homicide, a lot of the evidence was used against him in the first murder. So, dude had a lot to look forward to. Come on, man. It don't make sense. The handwriting. They said that he had three suicide notes. I say, let's take a look at that handwriting. Let's get a handwriting analysis expert in there and take a look at that because I seriously doubt that he wrote those. And, if, and even if he did, I mean, but that would be the first step to check it out. But even if he did, I still think if he wrote those suicide notes, it would be under duress. And another thing, if he really did write suicide notes, if he really did do that, why didn't they find it initially? Why? We're talking about three letters. Y'all got to remember, a single man's cell is not that large. We're talking six by nine. There's not a whole lot of stuff that you're going to find in a jail cell. There's not a whole lot of places to hide anything in a jail cell. Let's say he hid the notes. There's not a lot of places you can hide a note. Well, you can, well, let, let's think about it. Okay, let's think. Maybe you can hide a note in your mattress, inside your mattress, inside your pillowcase. Uh, maybe um, in your shoes. Uh, inside of a box or something like that. You know, uh, a, a box of, I don't know, empty cookies or something, anything, but it's not a lot of places to hide things in a single man's cell. It's just not. Even if he was in a 100 man, man tank, there still would not be a lot of places to hide stuff. You know, once you start going through the cell, there's just not, a, there ain't nothing in there, baby, but iron and concrete. That's it. Iron and concrete. There's not enough, a lot of places to hide stuff. So, I don't believe in the suicide notes. I don't believe dude killed himself. I just don't believe them. The dude just beat a murder case. I say to the family, check the body thoroughly. Check the body for wounds, lacerations, Check for signs of struggle. Check for defensive wounds. Like, check, 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 check. Because I just don't believe this man killed himself. You know, I just don't believe that if they did find suicide notes, that it would take that long to find a suicide note. Let me go into this right quick. They said investigators found three handwritten notes next to the Bible in his cell. And then I read another report that 
they said he wrote the the inscription John something on there. He wrote some type of Bible uh, verse on his forehead. Man, that sounds like somebody playing people planning murders. And okay, what what else can we do? Man, let's just you know what the suicide note is cool, but let's do something else with this. Uh, man, you know what? Ha ha ha! Let's write on his head. That's what I think happened. I think that they, they need to do a thorough investigation. I think those all those guards need to be investigated. I need some somebody need to also investigate the inmates. Like talk to the inmates. I bet you get a whole different story. I bet those inmates are telling a different story. I guarantee you those inmates are telling a different story. I guarantee you that those inmates are saying, well, things were going like this or Let's say if it was planned. If it was planned, that means that somehow they got off a routine. They got off routine. If it was planned, they got off routine. And the inmates would know that. If it was something that happened at random, he pissed somebody off and they went after him and things were going on, then the inmates would be able to also attest to that. I just don't believe that this man killed himself. He had too much to live for. He had too much going for himself. I just don't believe it. It's a tragic it's a tragic story and you know I feel for the family members of the victims but I'm not even like I said I'm not even talking about you know what I feel for dude as a person. I'm saying just as just the circumstances around his death, that has implications that are far reaching for all of us because there's too many damn people that are dying in custody. And some people have been pulled over for simple, like simple misdemeanors and ended up dead. So it could happen to you, Mr. Perfect, Miss Perfect. It could happen to you. I'm telling you. If y'all don't, if you don't think you can, keep living. No more talk.